The name is Chillmonger. Lately, we've been having rumored castings for what's going to happen in the Fantastic Four, in the X-Men, having John Carlo Esposito showing up. Denzel Washington is a name, possibly. John Boyega is up there. Henry Cavill, amongst others. What about these race swaps, though? I think that race swaps are destructive to the goal. If your goal, you may be thinking this superhero field and genre is extremely Caucasian, and it is not an inclusive place at the top. If you want to pretend like the top five black superheroes, Blade, Monica Rambeau, Storm, Black Panther, Luke Cage, if you want to pretend those five, or Miles Morales, or Sam Wilson Falcon, are as important. These seven names that I just brought up as Wolverine, Thor, Spider-Man, Hulk, Captain America, Iron Man, Captain Marvel, then we're not living in the same reality. Superheroes are not an inclusive place. They actually lean heavily in one direction, pretty uh, white, uh, the skin complexion being light, light, like not dark, the opposite, resembling people who live in Europe, like that. That's what it is. That's what it looks like. So the race swaps come into effect, I think, to, I don't know, counter that and to tell a, a more mixed message. I think that's what the goal is. However, when you race swap an originally white character, let's look at the Fantastic Four, for example. They made Michael B. Jordan the Human Torch in that 2015 movie. That does not change that the Human Torch on my poster here, the guy that they're talking about, is a white man. The next time we get a new casting, which is coming in a week now on Saturday, we're not going to get a white, uh, sorry, a Michael B. Jordan again. Like, that didn't change anything. The character's originally white. I know that you can't tell the story of Marvel Comics without the Fantastic Four. These four white guys. One of them happens to be orange, but underneath there, he's white. You can't do that, right? What I want, the solution, is to make it so that you can't tell the story of Marvel without having Blade. You can't tell the story of Marvel without having Luke Cage. What? We're doing Marvel? Well, you're missing out if you don't have Falcon, if you don't have blue marvel from you know and i hope that's who denzel washington is playing rather than a magneto or whatever they decide to do i'm shooting this before that that uh casting announcement rumored casting announcement they may not even do it i think the solution is to mix things up by introducing the audience the movie audience the casuals and everyone to these new characters who have dark skin and then you go oh look now there are more characters there with darks and they're just as important as Captain America and Iron Man and all them guys. That is the solution. Like, what Black Panther did in 2018 cannot be ignored. It literally made a guy a household name. And now the Black Panther superhero is there. He's a Halloween costume. He's a toy. He is a he's getting his own video game. The Black Panther did that because it was such a good success and people bought into it. How do you do that and then go, hmm? We're going to do some race swaps. Here's why you, especially you don't want race swaps, okay? They prevent you from knowing new black superheroes. Imagine if Giancarlo Esposito plays Professor X. Then that casting happens, and that whole movie has Giancarlo Esposito in there. Where is the need? The, where is the pressure from Marvel Comics, Marvel Studios, to cast black characters in their movie? Oh, we already got one. One of the most important guys, Professor X, he's a black guy. Nothing to see here. That, that That's what that happens. That happens. When that dark-skinned character check, when that checkbox is checked by Giancarlo Esposito filling in the role of Professor X for one movie, and then, you know, the next time we get a new universe, probably not going to be a black guy again. Uh, newsflash, guys, these are temporary. not These are band-aid solutions, not permanent fixes. Then we just missed out on, like, a character with dark skin getting a prominent role. And it doesn't elevate black superheroes. So if you want elevation of black superheroes, that's what you, like, um, like you need that. You need John Carlos Pizzito not to be Professor X or Cyclops. And you need the white guys to play white characters. And then you need characters with dark skin like um, 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 what's Bishop, Gentle, Sink. What's Monet's name? Monet. Monet. <laughs> Her name is Monet. You need those characters to be introduced to the audience. I don't need a black boom boom. I want sunspot. I don't need, you get what I'm trying to say. I hope you get what I'm trying to say. Race swaps take spots that wastes hot. I was trying to rhyme. It failed. But race swaps do take spots.
because I know how a studio thinks. I remember the casting for the Eternals. They checked every box. Yep, got that, got that, got that, got that. Move on to the next one. I don't want the Giancarlo Esposito to take a spot. That's what will happen. There will be no pressure of, is there a movie black enough? That won't happen. I'm going to go.